Hello Internet and welcome back to Gix's Adventures in Morrowind. Uh, it's a long story, but last time, which was over a year ago, uh, I had the challenge of going to the Lunabai dungeon and, you know, for the main quest and try to fight some, uh, you know, cultists, essentially. And um, you might be thinking, wow, you haven't played for a long time, but really, uh, I've been playing all this time. Well, not throughout the entire week, well, a couple of weeks here and there, trying to get through that dungeon. And instead of just uploading a bunch of videos that were just me being frustrated and not getting anywhere, um, I decided to not do that and just keep on going until I found a solution and then uh, make some videos and talk about it. So um, let's just go right, you know, all the way back and get through a little bit of the process of the challenges that I had. Uh, first thing that didn't help is the fact that I was running with, uh, which one is it? I think it's Tribunal. One of the expansions in Morrowind that I didn't have before when I started the series, but um, was it? I, I think it was like two years ago when I decided, you know what, my computer can uh, can run more and now everything's good. Let's try it again, and I installed. Uh, I made a transition to get Morrowind on Steam, which included uh, the two expansion sets. So. Um, yeah, the assassins was just too much for me to handle. So I was in that Ilunabai dungeon trying to force my way through with assassins so I couldn't regenerate my magicka while resting because they attack when you rest. Not 100% chance, but it was very likely. Um, so... What was there to do? So I, you know, throughout the year I started just theater crafting and just trying to see, okay, can I, you know, is it because I don't have the potions for it? Uh, is it because I'm not casting the right spells? Uh, are my items really that crap? Where can I find them? Can I get rid of the assassins? And apparently uh, I found out that if you do just a little bit of the quest line that involves the assassin, uh, because when you encounter an assassin for the first time, there's a, a message that pops up and say, "Hey, you probably would want to report that to authorities." And I did, and they mentioned going to a place called Ebenhart. And so next up was, well, how do I find the place? Uh, nobody told me where to go, and when I say nobody, like I actually try to talk to the NPCs and figure it out, um, and I did everything, like, I, I, I should have probably read a, a book, I mean, um, Hindsight's 2020, um, somebody uh, on my channel suggested that I read the uh, Guide to Vardenfell, and in there it mentions a little bit of uh, the major key points of and where they are, I'm assuming. Um, that's what I was told. And um, yeah, I was pretty frustrated at that point. So I couldn't find the place, blah, blah, blah. And then I decided, well, I don't have the cloth map that the game provides. And, uh, you know, the old school games, they tend to um, motivate you a little bit of using. Uh, motivating is that wrong one word here, but it's like the book or the instruction manual is like part of the experience. And in some even older games, the manual was essential for you to play the game. Uh, and uh, so I figured, well, okay, well, I, I don't have the cloth map, so I'll go online and look through the internet just to get the basic general idea of where Ibn Height might be on, on the map. And I did, and I found out it was near Vivek, but even when I was going to the location, I just couldn't find a place. And it wasn't until I did a live stream of more and saying, like, okay, guys, community, help me out here. I am stuck. 
uh, I need help. And uh, it was a lot of fun. I mean, uh, it, it's nice to... Be, at least I know that as, as much as many mistakes as I can make, I, uh, I realize that at least I wasn't going in like a complete idiot. Uh, because the people on the stream uh, had... I mean, the challenge that we had was trying to figure out a way to get through... I mean, we found Ebenhart and all that stuff. You know, the assassins rectified. The, the, the situation with the assassins is gone, at least for now. Uh, and um, all we had to do now is go through um, the Illunabaya camp, or the, the, the mine, or dungeon cave. And um, it was hard. I mean, it was still, you know, me against the wall, essentially, and hitting myself with it. Um, and, you know, we tried various things, various concepts, various ideas. And the thing is, is like the level scaling, as much or as little as there are in, in Morrowind, there are still some. And it was spawning me new monsters that I just couldn't handle. So, uh, and leveling myself up, like farming grind for levels, wouldn't necessarily help my situation other than maybe get more gold in order to do that. And, you know, push my way through through money, throw money at the problem, and it'll fix itself, right? So, um, with all that, all that said, all that done. Uh, we did manage to get through the DC uh, Illinois dungeon. So um, what I'm going to do is um, show you guys. I'm gonna cast a spell, and um, so I can see better. Why? Where was I? I'm trying to figure. Out. Okay, I was going my way down. So essentially, we killed the guy, looted his body. And then we found this room, which was, you know, mysterious and uh, We found a bunch of stuff here. I couldn't pick it up. Not all of it, anyways. I picked up the stuff that... Actually, I think I... Th most of this stuff has been looted. Like, I, this is a, uh, an older save. Just so that I can show you guys uh, a little bit of what happened. And, uh, you know, we got some bells. So I had fun with that was more loot here and um, and then there was this thing which I don't know it's a doodad looks cool so yeah I mean I have a disease now that I've killed him which I got the corpus disease which is kind of a bad thing I looted a letter that I'm gonna try to find again. I actually have the guide to Vardenfell, imagine that. Was it actually the message? Just wanted to make sure that this is the exact... I think that's what it was. And it reads... Once we were friends and brothers, Lord Nerevar, in peace and in war. No houseman ever served you better or more faithfully. Much that I did was at your command at great cost to myself and my honor. Yet beneath Red Mountain, you struck me down as I guarded this treasure you bound me by oath to defend. It was a cruel blow, a bitter betrayal to be felled by your hand. But remembering our old friendship, I would forgive you and raise you high in my service. The sixth house was not dead, but only sleeping. Now we wake from our long dream, coming forth to free Morrowind of foreign rulers and divine pretenders. When the land is swept clean of false friends and greedy thieves, the children of Valoth will build in you a garden of plenty in this blighted wasteland. Come to Red Mountain, old friend, for the fellowship and honor that once we shared, I would grant you counsel and power, if only you would pledge that friendship in you. The 
path to Renton Mountain is long and filled with danger. But if you are worthy, you will be you will find their wisdom, a firm friend, and all the power you need to set the world aright. As ever, your respectful servant and loyal friend who wants me to be his servant now, uh, etc. etc. So yeah, I didn't take that too kindly. And it was interesting because the conversation I had with uh, the guy on the floor right now is that um, he was... Uh, he, we uh, enter dialogue and it's like, he says, I have a message for you. And he has a letter and he was only speaking to me and he was basically uh, paraphrasing um, a good chunk of this already and I thought it was very interesting that he knew what to say because he had the actual letter to you know to read and to remember okay this is my mission this is I need to deliver this to this guy although mo most messengers don't read <laughs> the the package but um, you know he had a specific uh, mission and to, to send me that so um amongst other things, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, other than that, I, I, I felt it was kind of weird. Like, okay, you want to be friends again, so, you know, if I'm worthy, that, do you want to be friends or not? Like, you should make this easy for me if you, you, you know, unless you're just, you still feel betrayed and you just say, oh, okay, well, that sucker. You know what? I'm not going to kill him if he goes through all that pain and misery for me. Um, no thanks. So, there's that. I'm in the temple uh, in Balmora, and if I remember correctly, I use my very clever spells or scrolls to get here because fast travel is awesome. Alright, so, um,. I have no idea where to go from here on, other than the fact that I should probably report to Chaos Cassades. And um, I'm actually pretty confident that the log, the quest log, mentions that. And let me see if that's true. So. If killed, they got Gares as the spy master ordered, but with his dying breath, they got Gares pronounce a curse on me. So it's like, yeah, here's a curse, and if you want to be friends, you know, they got Ur is a jerk. And again, apparently, I uh, uh, stabbed him in the back, so better friends, I guess. But yeah, I'll have to return and report to the spy master on the. I actually like the fact that it doesn't mention Gaius Cassades anymore. Gaius Cassades, so it's like it's the spy master, right? Uh, what was his other name? The sugar attic. So here we are. We're just going to be on our way. To, uh, why don't I have spells, hotkey? Because they're here. Here we go. I'm trying to figure out. There, there's my night eye. And I. It's been so long and I forgot how to use it. That's weird. It's only been a few weeks. So. What the hell do you want? So I don't know what to expect here. Should be interesting. Make it quick, Breton. I mean, it's what been so long expect? since I've actually done. I always was on a quest, uh, especially for the longest time. I've been on a quest um, for Elunabai, and just try to get that done. And uh, now that that's over, it's kind of. I was trying to wonder if it was these stairs or the other ones, but it's this one. This set of stairs. And, 
Ah, uh, there's loading. Gotta love it. Hello there. How Hello. Are you? Still not dressed, are you? All right. Uh, let me get rid of my hands so that I don't look at the part where. Uh, there we go. And it looks like I'm fumbling you. So. Are you here to discuss your orders, Gix? Or is there something else you want? It's about my orders. With Degas Gears dead, the Sixth Health Shrine is no longer a threat. You're, you've more than earned a promotion to the rank of Traveler. How is that a rank? Messenger it might be a rank. Traveler. What does that guy do? He travels around. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of stupid. Uh, I'm very worried that you have the corpus disease. But I have some good news in that department. Yeah, what's that all about? I can vast my informants for possible treatments. Just in case you contracted the disease during your mission. Okay, I kind of wondered, like, how were you able to... Uh, plan ahead. I, I've learned from Fast Edic that your best chance of getting cured is Divath Fear, an ancient Telvani wizard who runs Corpusarium. <laughs> For victim of the disease. Okay, so it's an actual place that they call Corpusarium. Because of that disease. I was gonna say, who names like a hospital like that or like a wizard tower, right? Uh, let's get back to that afterwards. Continue. Here, take this Dreamer artifact and a thousand bucks and go to Tell Fear. The Vaith Fear will like the Dreamer, Dreamer artifact. A gift may sweeten his disposition. The goal is for expenses or hoarding, and here, in here, a couple of levitation potions. I hear you'll need them in Telvani towers because wizards don't use stairs. <laughs> so get moving and get that corpus disease cured. Then hurry back. I think I know how to get this, the lost prophecies the Bunny Mesa asked for. Okay. About the Telvani wizards, I mean, I already know because I already went there. Um, the, 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 at least I went to a wizard tower. Uh, and yes, you, you, they have like tunnels that look like ant farms and. Uh, it was, it was hard to navigate, but uh, I, I just love the idea that wizards don't use stairs. It's like, we're badass. Um, it's like, oh, I'm a mage. Sorry, I'm not a wizard, so I still have to use the stairs to get up to here. So, um, And I guess I have to climb the corporate ladder also from Traveler. What was I before? Well, now I'm curious. Um... Now, what confuses me... I just want to read a little bit back. Okay, no, never mind. Because there was a couple of names in... Who the hell is Fast Edic? Ed the Man. <laughs> also Fast Edic. Also Edic the Rat is a rare commodity, a former Talvani wizard who has gone imperial and joined the Mages Guild. A colorful but reliable character. But he is an invaluable source of inside information on the great house Talvani. He has a small house here in Balvor. Is he the, the Dunmer in the basement of the Mages Guild? Or does he only reside in his house? I'll have to check that out. Ed the man. Love that. 